All right, Saturn. Hey. Saturn, uh, where'd you grow up? Where are you from originally? Uh, Oklahoma. Oklahoma? Yeah. And tell me about your childhood growing up. You had, you had mom and dad? Uh, no, I never had a mom or dad. I was an orphan. I stayed with my grandparents um, until my grandpa or grandma died. At, when I, I was like 13, my grandpa went crazy. So I stayed with my uncle in Missouri and he abandoned me after a month. And I went towards the state of Missouri and went to group homes and lockdowns and stuff and uh, until I was 18. So then I went back to my grandpa to check up on him after they kicked me out. He was still a little crazy and got a Greyhound and decided to go to Land Opportunity here, California. At what age did you come out? I was like 19, I think. Yeah. 19, around 19. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, that was my childhood, I guess. Short and sweet version of it. Any traumatic events or anything terrible? Um, just the emotional damage from that. Yeah, and, yeah, that's enough. And then some of the group homes and stuff, I had some issues. But There's some horror stories from that. Yeah, yeah. From that program. What, uh, what, what have you done since you came to LA? Oh my God, I've done a lot. Um, well, I was on the streets, I was homeless when I first got out here. I literally never seen a beach or a palm tree in my life being in the Midwest, you know, and I wanted to, to experience that. So when I got off the Greyhound, I was asking people, where's the beach at? Where's the beach? How do I get to the beach? And like people just told me what buses to get on. And I went straight to Santa Monica, jumped in the water. It was February and it was hot out, but the water was freezing. It freaked me out. But uh, that was funny. Um, yeah, and I, I met these homeless guys. It's like, hey, how does this work out here? Like, where do I get food? Where, where, what do I do? And we hung out, got drunk underneath the pier and uh, made some friends and yeah. Um, started learning about how to do things on the streets and how to get supplies and stuff without money. And, yeah. and yeah. then I did that for about for a few years and got in trouble and decided uh, I love my freedom too much and I can't get my freedom taken away from me again. So I need to straighten my shit up. So. I worked on Venice Beach at a poster store and then worked at a pokey restaurant and ended up working there for like five years and became the manager there. And I worked at Whole Foods. I've worked a lot of places. I can't name them all. I'll be here all day, but right. yeah, I've got a good rap sheet of work. How old are you now? I'm 33. 33? Yeah. And the drugs have been a part of your life? Oh yeah, yeah. I did tons of drugs, especially when I was on the streets. I, what were you know. your favorites? Huh? What were your favorites? Ketamine, acid. I like all psychedelics, mushrooms. Um, yeah. Ketamine. Tell, tell me about ketamine. Ketamine. Uh, it's great. Um, it's great because like it's uh, not only can you party with it, you can use it to benefit yourself, like depression and stuff like that. It's like you're feeling good, you get a, a good little head rush, and then ketamine is actually a, an animal tranquilizer, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You can get different grades of it too. Like there's um, like human grade, like rhino grade, or like different strengths, you know. And um, a lot of it going around in LA right now is like it's like human grade. It's like not too powerful, but and like your tolerance it grows with ketamine too. It's like if you do it for a couple of days, like you're gonna have to do more. Like it's like your tolerance grows really quick. Like and it is that. addictive. Yeah, it can be addictive. Yeah. yeah. It, doesn't, it depends on the person. Like when I was younger on the streets, like when I did drugs, like I could take months off drugs and then get back on it. Like I didn't have no problem with addiction. I didn't at, the, at that time, like I didn't crave anything. But as I got older, I noticed I craved drugs more and it's like really annoying. <laughs> and ketamine is uh, something you snort or is a pill? Or you can snort it, you can uh, muscle it. Um, you can, um, I believe they do have pills. You can, they have sprays too. Um, it's mostly like a party drug, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's been used throughout for a long time through other things too. Like um, I've read something about um, what um, spiritual, what's that called? Occults and stuff using it because mm -hmm. it helps separate the soul from the body. And they would use that for different rituals and stuff. But uh, and what, what, so what's the effect from doing ketamine? Oh well, you kind of just like. It's a dissociative kind of psychedelic, and it, you just kind of like fall out and go into another universe, or you, everything around you just like 
melts away and you go into other dimensions, it feels like, or something. It's How like, does it compare to LSD or uh, mushrooms? LSD is like, you never really know for sure what you're gonna get with it. Like, like the last couple times I did LSD, it's like, they weren't great trips. They were kind of bad trips. And I thought it was gonna be great, but I was wrong. And um, ketamine is always great. So it's always the same thing, basically. So. It lasts for how long? Um, tr uh, traditionally, like 15 to 30 minutes. Right? Yeah. It seems to be getting better nowadays, too. Like, a lot of the ketamines are lasting a little bit longer. I don't know why. So it doesn't really, you don't really find it on the streets of Skid Row, but you'll find it at the clubs? You can find it at clubs. You can, you can find it everywhere. Actually, they have pharma, there's, there's certain pharmacies now, I believe, like, where you can go to a clinic and get ketamine uh, muscled into you. And, like, they, it's good for uh, PTSD and uh, uh, depression, so. It's an antidepressant. And what, so what, do you use any of the other drugs, like crystal meth or any of the other? No, no, I played around with it though. Yeah, but no. And now that you're trying to get your, your life straight, what, what have you- Oh yeah, yeah. What, yeah. What, have, what, have, what have you learned from your years of drug use? Um, I've learned like, <sighs> we, we all have tendencies to get addicted to things pretty easily, especially if you have a lot of traumas and stuff you've been through and like pharmacy phar, phar, uh, pharmaceutical stuff is it's like legal drug dealing it's dr legal drugs and the legal drugs kind of you can do the same thing like you can legally sell well what i'm trying to say here um basically i'm saying like if you use the legal drugs and have self-discipline and you do use them as a tool instead of partying like it could help some people but some drugs some people shouldn't be taking we're all different we're all different fingerprints like so i've learned that if you do too much of anything it's really bad for you and like yeah, and something that can be recreational can turn into something that's yeah addictive. exactly and then it can fuck your life up and then you have to get help and then you're behind and have you seen like people shit. that are that have problems with, with things like ketamine oh yeah 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 definitely actually one of my best friends was like stuck on it and he was about to have a kid and he had to get off of it before he had a kid and he was struggling really hard him and his wife and like they had to get help they couldn't do it on their own so yeah it can be heavily addictive and what, what does the club scene like with with drugs what, what are the other drugs that people oh molly uh molly's great i love molly but um um, ecstasy, cocaine, um, of course, ketamine, uh, mushrooms, acid, stuff like that. Yeah, and the, and the you got those. You got some weird clubs though too. You got you got you got different kinds of clubs. You got some clubs that it's like or underground warehouses or something like that. That you got a bunch of meth heads there. It's like Ew. then you got the ones that are psychedelic, hippie flipping and shit. And then you got the like. You just got different drugs in different scenes, you know. What What do you think the what, Why Why are drugs so popular now? Because they're great. They feel great, and people. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you you touched on it earlier, and you're and you're like, childhood. You had you went through a lot of traumatic stuff. Yeah, yeah. Do you think that's the core of it all? I mean, it it definitely. Or are people just bored. It's a part of it. Yeah, it's definitely a part of it. Um, I'm learning right now how to do shadow work and how to dig into my past and like not distract myself and face my inner darkness. And um, that's what I'm working on right now. So like drugs are a great distraction. So are females so are, or whatever you're into. Um, and I, I like distracting myself a lot and I'm trying to figure out why. So, and I'm sure it has something to do with my childhood. Yeah, I think once we get bored and kind of don't have anything to focus on, I think drugs became like an e become an, e an easy oh yeah very easy thing to go to yeah definitely yeah you're, you're bored you're sitting around with some friends and it's funny sometimes i'm not even bored i have tons of things i want to do or should do but i choose to do the drugs or fucking go hang out with a chick or something or yeah fucking. i mean la is a big city like yeah, new york chicago to do. but you go to some of these more rural areas where you think like, oh, they, they wouldn't have drugs there. It's worse there. <laughs> yeah. Because there's nothing to do. Yeah. Everyone's just sitting around bored and yeah. it's almost like 
everybody is doing the drugs. Yeah, yeah, it's, it seems that way actually. It's like some, I, I remember when I started doing some drugs, like I was shocked that some of my homies was like, wait, you've been doing this this whole time, what? Like I didn't even know they were doing drugs. They've all been doing it the whole time though. They seem like sober clean people, I was like, wow. And what have you learned in your, in your life that uh, has stuck with you? What's the most important thing you've learned? Oh God, I've learned a lot. It's hard to pinpoint. It's like finding a needle in a haystack. I've learned a lot. Um, That's a good answer. There's a, lot, there's a lot of things to learn. Yeah, there is. If you're paying attention. Yeah. Um, I've learned that self-discipline is very important. <laughs> and it's really hard. But uh, I don't know. That's, I guess, the first thing that pops in my head right now. It's a rare one, too. Yeah. All right, Saturn. Thank you so much for sharing your story. Yeah, no problem, man. Good Thank luck you. out there. Goodbye.